Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Lav here. Uh, just a couple of things I wanted to talk about. Um, I know you guys are probably getting bored with all my oil burner videos. I've been posting a lot of them. I got, you know, over 60 or so, but, um, you know, sometimes they're easy to video. And I've been getting more requests to do plumbing videos. And, uh, you know, I do quite a bit of plumbing also, but plumbing's a little tough because um, a lot of times you get called in to change a faucet or work on work on a sink or something and the homeowner's like right there in the kitchen watching you so it's hard to pull the camera out it's different if you're down in the basement and you're running the camera and uh you know they're not watching you or you're outside on the air conditioner or uh, in an attic it's a little little easier to video um you know a couple of more months i'm gonna be all ac straight out ac so i'll be bringing a lot more hvac stuff like i did last year but I want to try to get more plumbing stuff going. Uh, you know, some of my best videos are plumbing videos. Little stupid shit that you wouldn't even think about um, would take off that did. So I'm going to try to do more and uh, try to get some more gas videos also. But, yeah, I know I've been posting a lot of um, oil burner stuff. I don't know if you guys are getting bored with it or what the deal is. But I just wanted to kind of. You know, uh, you know, bring I'm thinking about upgrading, getting a couple of better cameras. A um, couple of the cameras that I've been using, uh, really sucking the battery down. And I'm thinking about looking into trying to get something that's a little bit better, a better quality. And uh, I like the idea of being able to slide something in my pocket and walk around with it, type of thing. But you know, I don't want to video off a phone or anything like that because my phone has to be ready to answer uh, when the phone calls come. But yeah, that's just a little little of my thoughts um, on that. Yeah, you know, and I've been glad to see some of the other guys have been, you know, doing more vlogs and uh, showing themselves on the camera instead of hiding behind the camera. I, I've been glad to see that. Uh, you know, I think, that, like I've always said on my videos, I think it's important to interact with um, the people and uh, get to know the people, get to know you, and you get to know, you know, them in, in their um their comments and stuff. I, I think it's important. You know, and I get a lot of people that ask me, how come you don't have a partner? How come you don't train a kid? Uh, you know, how come you work alone? Um, well, let me let me try to explain to you. Uh, I was brought up in, uh, you know, I started off in the commercial realm. And I worked in the commercial realm for 10 years. Uh, plumbers and pipe fitters union. And um, I did all commercial work, and I've always liked to do residential work. So, um, you know, in the while I was while I was in the union, I, I went to night school, learned uh, air conditioning, refrigeration, and oil burner stuff, and um, started getting a little slow there with with the with the union stuff. So um, I got out and went on my own, started a little residential company, and uh, it was tough at first. You know, like I say, it takes you know three, four, four or five years to really get rolling. All you guys think you're going to make all kinds of money, just, you know, quit your job and start a, start a business and you're going to make all kinds of money. You're for, in for a rude awakening. It's going to take some time to get rolling. But anyway, um, you know, once once I got rolling and stuff, uh, you know, you kind of learn as you go along. It's the way it is, you know. And next thing you know, um, you're getting all these customers and, uh, this guy refers you, and that guy refers you, and next thing you know, you got yourself a clientele that, that, that's going strong. Yeah, so my type of business is like service and repair, a lot of um, a lot of little stuff. So if I have a kid working for me, okay, he's either going to be watching me work. What's he going to do? Uh, I'm going into a house. Uh, I'm fixing a heater. I'm down there, you know, in the heater fixing it. Uh, if I got a kid working for me, am I going to be telling him what to do? Or is he going to be carrying my tools? Uh, it's I don't know. I, I've i always been, uh, when it comes to work, and I've always liked working alone. And uh, I probably should train a kid. But, you know, I got a daughter, and she didn't want to do it. So I would have trained her. I wanted to, but <laughs> she'd come to a couple of bad jobs. I'll tell you a story. One time, I went to this uh this guy had like a six family house and he was kind of like, he, he's one of these buildings and he bought all these houses in, in this uh, bad area. It's like in downtown New Bedford. And uh, I used every weekend, you know, I got divorced when the kid was young. So every weekend I would pick up my daughter, 
you know, we go out to eat on Friday night and, you know, Saturdays we'd have, I'd have jobs to do. So I'd take her along with me, you know, she'd, she'd be in the truck with the dog and uh, she'd come in, come in the houses. Well, there was this one house, I had no heat. So it was, um, it was a six family home, you know, like a slumlord type of thing. I mean, really bad. So I went in there, it was, had all those, uh, you know, little gas boilers. And it had uh, zone valves, a couple of zones per per apartment. So I went up into one apartment and um, had a T87F round Honeywell thermostat on the wall. So I wanted to check the thermostat to see, you know, the thermostat was calling. Because I went downstairs and, uh, you know, it didn't seem like a thermostat. I went up there to the third floor. My daughter come up with me and I took the thermostat off the wall. And I took the two little, the three little screws off to take the thermostat off, right? And about 20 roaches, two tiny roaches ran across the flipping wall, all different directions. I dropped the thermostat. My daughter, my daughter's eyes were as big as saucers. They, she, you know, she never, I never had roaches in my house or nothing. Yeah, 20 little roaches running across the flipping wall in all directions. I'll never forget that. I dropped the thermostat right there, and we left. I said, you got to get this cleaned up. My, my daughter never forget that. A couple of bad, um, um. You know, drain cleanings. Drain cleanings are bad. I just do laterals and stuff. Somebody's got a kitchen sink backed up or a, a bathroom sink. You know, I got little snakes. I got the big snakes, but I don't like to do main drains. I don't, I got a, if there's a main drain, uh, I call the guy that does just drains. But anyway, she come through a couple of bad uh, drain cleanings with me. And that shit, it comes out of there, it's like black muck. Any of you guys that ever worked on drains, you know that snake comes out when it's black. Like black mud. A couple of bad drain cleanings and things like the roaches and oh some bad oil burner cleanings that she went on with me. You know, black soot everywhere and oh yeah. She's like, I'm all set with that shit. She don't want nothing to do with my job. But it's too bad because, you know, well, she's a female. You know, a lot of females don't like to do that type of stuff. You know, she likes working with paperwork and well, she does some, some stuff for me, uh, you know, in the office and stuff, but. Yeah, that's the way it is, you know, uh, too bad, but that's the reason why I don't have a kid, because I'm kind of like a hands-on guy, if, if he, if, I don't know, if it was my kid, I would train him, but that's the deal with that. Oh, yeah, the little story about my dog, this is the deal, this is my partner for years, I gotta tell you the story about my dog. I got this little Jack Russell Terrier, uh, back when my kid was young, I don't know, my kid was probably... I don't know, 10 years old when we got this little dog. The thing was a little tiny thing, size of a, a Tendo 64 controller. She's, she was tiny. She's only like 13 pounds uh, full grown. So I bought this dog and, um, you know, I left her in the bathroom with a gate with paper down. She was only a puppy. And I figured I'd go to work and stuff and, and she would... She'd stay in and out. Jack Russell's a little smart little dog. So she she must have jumped on the toilet, jumped on the sink, and then dived over the flipping uh, you know, brace I had across the the door. It was one it was about, I don't know, like two and a half feet high, a regular gate like for a kid. The dog jumped right over that. So anyway, so I was working, um, it was summertime, and I was working down at this this house right on the water. So I said, I'm gonna bring the dog with me. And uh, hook her on, you know, because it was all grass over there and stuff. So she can't get in trouble over there. So I started taking the dog to work with me um, because she was making a mess out of the house. So um, ever since then, the dog came to work with me in my truck every day um, for like 12 and a half years. That dog was with me day and night. Uh, take the dog with me. Had a little, you know, a little spot for her on the side between me and the side door, and she'd look out the window in the summertime. And every, you know, I was always known for for the guy with the little dog in the truck. She came with me. She'd protect that truck. I'd go in house. Anybody come around, she'd be growling. She's only a little shit, you know. But she's a little jack. She's a she's a little spicy little thing. Very very intelligent dog. Smart as a whip. I love the little dog. I always call her the. The, the one that never left. The female that never left me. <laughs> She's still with me to this day. She's 15 now, the little dog. But this is what happened. After 12 and a half years, she decided she wanted to retire. She had enough of that going to work with me stuff. She wanted to just sleep in the morning. She didn't want to go to work no more. 
So it was kind of like winter time, and I said, all right, you can stay home, because in the winter time, I used to have to put coats on and my little booties, you know, because the truck was cold when I went out there, and she'd be shivering at first till the truck warmed up. So as she got older, she decided, I just want to stay home. I don't want to go in the cold no more. So um, that was that winter. I said, all right, you can stay home. And she'd just, like, lay on the couch and sleep all day. I'd come home, she'd be stretching her back, like, you know, let me out, let me out for a leak. So, um, you know, after the 12 and a half years, she stayed home for that winter. And then it started getting warm as springtime came. It was a 70 degree day. I said, hey, listen, you're coming back to work. You know, it's not cold no more. Time for you to get your ass back to work with me. And, uh, you know, everybody's asking about you. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Hey, you are sleeping at home all day. So I took her to this. I took her on a job. It's 70. It's beautiful out. 70, 72 degrees out. No wind. So I figured I'd take her to work and roll the window down. It'd be nice and comfortable for her. Take her in the truck, and I'm doing this. Uh, I had to do something in the bathroom, change a guy's sink or uh, remodel it, uh, change his toilet in the sink and work on something for this guy. So she's in the truck. Uh, while I'm doing the work in the house, I'm in there for a half an hour, 45 minutes. I come out, right? She goes in. Now, she's on a leash in my truck. I got a hook so she can't run out if I open the door. She goes in the back of the truck, pulls all the cardboard boxes, you know, f from from the shelves off, and starts ripping them all up, demolishing all my all my stuff in the truck. So I come in the truck. I look. I say, "What the hell are you doing? You man, you're ruining the flipping all this stuff. What's going on?" So I, I, you know, I shortened up her leash so she couldn't get in the back there, in the back of the truck. And I hollered at her a little bit. She just kind of looked at me. I went in the house. I come back out like, you know, 20 minutes later, she jumped up on the dash, ripped all my phone books up like rebellion because I took her to work, you know. So I got all pissed off. I said, all right, that's it. You win. You can stay home. So the flipping dog is, is home in diapers now for like two years. I got to keep changing her diapers because she leaks now. So the vet says to me, she's, uh, the vet says to me, oh, you know, this dog will probably live till she's 20. She's in perfect shape. Uh, you know, I, I take her in for a tune-up every every year or so. She got these little warts that grow on her. I take her in for a tune-up. They clean all the warts off her. And, uh, yeah, she's something else, man. That's my little dog. The one that never left. <laughs> all right. Anyway, guys. Hey, listen. I'm going to do a little video on my dog. Uh, you know, I do, I'm going to, I'm think, been thinking about doing a little video on her. And, you know, she's, she's 15 now. And. Yeah, she probably looks like she's six or something. She's a good little shit, you know. Uh, if people could be more like dogs, the world would be a better place. So that's the way I feel about dogs. I like dogs. You know, some sometimes I you know joke around and uh, come across a you know a hot ass, but I'm not I'm not really a hot ass. But um, anyway. Hey, I just want to thank all my loyal subs subs and subscribers for uh, the comments and. Um, you know, I really do mean that. I really do appreciate uh, my subs and the comments and stuff. And, and all. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't really be doing any of this stuff. Because it's a lot of flipping work for me, man. All these videos. Excuse me. All these videos I load and edit and stuff. It's a lot of flipping work. A lot of work. But, yeah, if it wasn't for you guys... I wouldn't even, why? Why would you, Why would I do it? For what reason? Uh, I don't need to, you know? But thanks, thanks a lot for, you know, all the comments and all the feedback. And, uh, you know, I've made a lot of good friends on, on YouTube. And uh, I, I was, I'm glad that I was able to fit somewhere in the community. And it's a pretty good community. I, I'm, you know, it's kind of like a little family type of thing. And, uh, you know, I feel privileged to be able to uh, be part of it, and uh, hopefully I can continue and, uh, you know, load up. Um, um, I want to do some, I'm thinking about getting some better equipment, maybe some better cameras and stuff, and, uh, uh, you know, just bear with me, because summer's coming, and it's going to be tons of HVAC stuff. I know a lot of you guys HVAC hounds, and uh, I'll bring a bunch of it, you know, like I did last year. I think I did, like... I don't know, 50, 50 videos, 60 videos last year, and uh, I was just getting started, so this year it'll be a lot better.
So, so when, when it comes summertime, I get like, you know, 10, 15 calls a day, just no, no cooling, no, no air conditioning, just straight AC, just come fix it, you know, so a lot of my stuff is like, you know, I'm going from one to another to another, just get, just trying to get them going. The bad ones, I got to come back on it. You know, I can't spend four hours on one job. I got too many calls coming in. So that's the way it is. So hopefully, um, hopefully I can bring some decent stuff for you guys in the future. And uh, thanks for watching.